Unless boredom rightly said, there are two ways of meeting difficulties. You alter the difficulties or you alter yourself to meet them. Good morning everyone, esteemed judges, honorable guests and respected teachers. I can feel honored to have been given the opportunity to speak for the motions on the topic virtual assessment sorted or distorted. Online assessments for students is a step towards change. It is the process used to measure certain aspects of information for a set purpose where the assessment is delivered via a computer connected to a network. The reason for why virtual assessment is a boon for us are firstly, for every exam, there is a tension about syllabus, study, understanding of subject, which is accompanied by the tension of paper presentation, handwriting, punctuation, which is irrespective of knowledge of the person. Online assessments cut all these unnecessary efforts and takes only what is needed from you. Secondly, with online exams, students can know their test results immediately, resulting to less anxiety and pressure. Thirdly, immediate feedback supports formative assessment method with data readily available and neatly presented. Teachers can immediately adjust their focus on the topic or the individual as the case may be. Fourthly, it's more environmentally friendly with less paper, printing and transport used overall. Moreover, online proctoring gives students the ability to sit secure and vigilated exam for the comfort of their home. Also, visual and auditory learners are more focused on the test because of the stimuli rather than just long string of words and sentences page after page, which strains the brain. Also, technology easily accommodates students with disabilities. For example, students with problems with motor skills can, instead of writing, simply touch the screen for the answer. Lastly, when the whole world is learning to travel paperless earth, then why shouldn't learning itself be paper free? So go green, go online. Let's take a step towards the change towards online assessment. In the end, I would like to conclude by uh, quoting a line by Max Lucado that explains the situation aptly. Conflict is inevitable, but combat is optional. Thank you. Change is the end result of all true learning. But what happens when learning in itself goes through sudden change? Good morning everyone, esteemed judges, honorable guests, respected teachers, my worthy opponents and my friends. I and Ash McCall feel honored to get the opportunity to speak against virtual assessment assorted. Shifting from a mode which the schools have been following for ages and to which students have been comfortable is comparatively new and challenging because firstly one of the most demotivating facts of an online exam can be the internet bandwidth this can be problematic for the students who live in various parts of the country where there are either network issues or power cut issues secondly to give an exam online the student must have a device mobile phone computer or laptop in these challenging times when the wave of COVID has forced the states to announce a lockdown people are finding it difficult to even arrange a three-time meal for the family even the online examinations have eased the invigilator's job, the problem arises mostly with long concept type questions. Subjective answers require manual grading for which examiners need to invest additional time. This is where the modern system overlaps with the traditional one. Fourthly, one of the major disadvantages of an online examination system is cheating. The format of online exams is perceived as a kind to open book exams, unlike a traditional exam setting where external materials are not permitted inside the exam hall. There is no such provision in the digital format which jeopardizes the credibility of these tests. In their still developing country and the percentage of illiteracy in a country is high. In light of this background, an online assessment can be a challenge. That's because the technical illiteracy of the students prevents them from coming forward and filling the examination form. Such barriers only impede online exams. In the end, I would say that the cons outweigh the pros therefore. Sugarcoating the ongoing situation doesn't help or make it any easier for us. Online assessment is just as hard of a period. Thank you. Have a nice day.